Hazel is a budding archaeologist who's trying to stop an evil doctor from using the ruins of an ancient race for his own nefarious purposes. The game she inhabits, Hazel Dazzle, is an action adventure that borrows from the spinning spherical levels of Super Mario Galaxy and combines them with more traditional dungeon crawling sections. Unfortunately, though this marriage of gameplay styles can work, Hazel Dazzle is a shallow experience which is afflicted by some irritating technical issues. To make Hazel run along the planet's surface, you touch and hold your finger on the screen. She can run all the way around the planetoid provided nothing's in her way. If you run towards a ledge, she will leap off automatically. Run into a movable block and Hazel will push it. To attack enemies, you simply tap on their weirdly contorted heads and Hazel will unleash a series of melee strikes. Occasionally, you'll need to manipulate 3D shapes by using the accelerometer, but these sections suffer from some serious frame rate issues, as does most of your adventure. The story is delivered via dialogue boxes, though the text itself is often unengaging and occasionally misspelt. More often than not, these text dumps just interrupt your play. And when your play simply consists of pushing boxes and tapping enemies, it doesn't do much to endear the world to you. Also, while the design of the characters and the environments is colourful and abstract, if a little rough at the edges, none of the areas or enemies are particularly memorable. The influence that Hazel Dazzle takes from popular games is obvious. Unfortunately, the ropey gameplay and technical flaws add up to a game which falls far short of its peers. The frame rate stutters, the controls aren't as responsive as they should be, and there were a few times where the game straight out crashed, forcing us to run through an entire dungeon all over again. Though we appreciate the attempt to build a wacky world with its own distinct personality, there's very little Dazzle to be found here. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.